The bond between siblings is always unique in every family. For Victor Garcia, 11 years of age, and his sister, Nayalin Garcia, 7 years of age, siblings from the Dominican Republic, this link is especially precious. In 2015, Victor was diagnosed with a rare form of leukemia and needed a bone marrow transplant. His sister provided it. A group of Yankees led by Dellen Batances and her oldest Chapman surprised the brother and sister with a day at the Bronx Zoo. This is what it's all about. Anytime we get to spend time in the communities, uh, you know, helping these kids, just put smiles on their faces, this is, what, this is what it's all about for us. Today you got a sister helping out a brother, and it's something really special, you know. So uh, you know, come, come here, get to spend time with them, and uh, enjoy their day with them. For him to uh, continue to fight and continue to live his life, uh, you know, just being happy and, you know, feeling strong, it's good to see. On day two of Hope Week, the Yankees honored Amy Palmero Winters. Following a motorcycle crash at age 21, Amy underwent 27 surgeries over the next three years in the unsuccessful attempt to save her lower left leg. Outfitted with a prosthetic at age 24, the Pennsylvania native diligently spent the next few years learning how to walk, learning how to run, and learning just how far she could push the limits of her body. In 2010, Amy founded the nonprofit One Step Ahead Foundation in order to provide more opportunities for children with disabilities. Yankees players and manager Joe Girardi surprised One Step Ahead founder Amy Palmero Winters and a group of young athletes at the USA Track and Field Hall of Fame in New York City. It's just neat for us to be able to go out into the community and, and recognize uh, people that have, have persevered through, through adversity and in this case, you know, uh, have a setback and then, you know, exceed what people ex expected out of you and, and just to see how um, people have stepped up and, and helped help the community. So for us to be able to get out and to recognize them and to spend some time with them is, is just amazing for us. I've always said that without hope we have nothing and that is what Hope Week is all about and the inspirational stories that we hear from people like Amy and what they've done some of the tragedy that they've had in their lives, how they've made so many, such a positive impact in society and how she's helping so many kids feel good about themselves, have confidence and self-esteem. They're actually our heroes. Day three saw young Max Chihuahua helping out his younger sister stricken with cancer. Their mom, Robin, learned that Max and his friend, Alex Travin, had been telling jokes at school in exchange for donations, which they planned to give to pediatric brain cancer research. As part of their pitch, the duo also promised to set up a joke stand at their local farmer's market. For these two young boys who had amassed bagfuls of change from their young peers before any adults found out, it was the best idea they could come up with to support Scarlett and the thousands of other kids who battle cancer. So the Yankees surprised the family with a visit to the set of Saturday Night Live and also a visit with tonight's show host, Jimmy Fallon. You know, Max and Alex, what they've got going with comedy kids, um, it's great, you know, both uh, both bright little kids. And I've got an eight-year-old and a six-year-old boy, so I can appreciate where kids are at at this stage in their life. And um, just pretty special. Uh, a lot of fun for us to get to meet them and get to learn about what they're doing and um, try and bring a little bit of awareness to this cause. It's great. I got my tight pants. I got my tight pants on. It's fitting for us to for us to meet here Saturday Night Live. It's such a um, you know it's an it's an iconic place for for us to come be here in New York City, pretty close to the Bronx. And these kids, obviously, with what they're doing with comedy kids, uh, it's a great place for us to meet up and, and kind of put them on the stage, see them work a little bit, and um, interact with them. Uh, it's a lot of fun for all of us. On day four, the game was rained out, but Hope Week continued with the story of a moment of magic which was founded in December of 2014 by Kylie McGrain and Maggie McAndrew, both English majors who graduated last weekend from the College of Mount Sinai Vincent in the Bronx. With the help of college-aged volunteers, the program arranges visits to sick children, all while dressed as some of the most recognizable princesses from children's movies. A group of Yankee hurlers, including CeCe Sabathia, dressed in superhero costumes for the occasion. This is amazing. It's been a lot of fun. Um, you know, obviously getting to dress up, interact with the kids, my buddy Riley here. Um, you know, it's been a great day. I just think it's a great time of year to, to be able to give back in the community, and I think it brings the team closer because we all get out and, and do things together during the day, and um, it's, it's helping during, throughout, throughout the city, and it's just a lot of fun to be a part of. The kids, you can see they're 
genuinely excited and happy, and that's what this day is supposed to be about. And when you get a hug with their smiles, it just melts, melts you. So. It's absolutely incredible. Kylie and I had no idea. Um, we thought we were just coming here to hang out with the kids, which is what we love to do. Um, and we walked in, and I was like, I, I like tapped Kylie. I was like, I think something else is going on here. Um, but, you know, the donation from the Yankees and the support and the exposure that we're going to get from this is unreal. And the amount of children that we're going to be able to get to from this donation um, is really going to make a difference. Hope Week wrapped up with a day in the park, Central Park. 14-year-old Tyler Cashman has an innate sense of empathy. His mother, Casey Cashman, is a single parent who does the best she can despite dealing with persistent chronic pain that began in 2008 after neuroma surgery on her right foot. By the time Tyler was in grade school, the roles of caregiver and caretaker were often reversed as he happily helped his mother through the tough times. A group of players surprised Tyler Cashman at Central Park where they took part in a wide array of activities. It was awesome meeting all the players and like learning about them. It was really fun and it was funny like how some of them act. It's a really passion for a kid that's it's beyond his ears, you know, and it's awesome to to be able to just hear it, you know, and uh, and, and, and also have fun with them because at, at the end, I mean, what, right, we, right before we were about to come in, we were just talking about turtles, you know, it's like, yeah, look at the cool turtles, you know, and uh, it was just fun. Uh, he's a cool kid, and uh, for him to be so selfless and to be doing things for other people, and at such a young age, he's uh, turning into to quite a young man, so uh, it's been fun to watch. That put an end to another great week as the Yankees honored a special group of people who help others persevere and excel.